Hello once again. I see more of him than I see my wife, actually. <laughs> it's Andy Gray alongside me. And uh, delighted that that is the case. And Andy, here we go again with another big one, eh? Yeah, it's a belter. Certainly pre-game. I'm lo really, really looking forward to this one. And the players are lining up, ready for the start. It's a dangerous moment. They stop that attack, but can't get out themselves. The ball's loose. This is a passing game, and they're doing it beautifully. Surely he's going to score here. First time shot. Coming up now, a corner for Barcelona. Gets his foot up high to deal with the bouncing ball to shoot. It will be a kick for the goalkeeper, goal kick. Getting defenders around the ball, calling one or two extra players back to try and defend as well. Great passing. Here's the chance. Just run away from him. And won't get it back that easily. to be. That's a glorious attempt, and it's a goal! So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. Well, the attacker is now spot for choice, really, in terms of support. Patience didn't pay off at all. They've lost the ball. A little bit of play between these two. Volley's it goalwards, and he's at a super shot. Barcelona have scored here. angle. Remarkable. Well, I'll tell you what, the keeper thinks he's made a great save, but the striker's just hammered in the rebound. Now it's 2-0. And the interception is made. We've got support coming through the middle. And the ball's run free. They've lost it. Arsenal might have uh, just fallen off the pace a bit when it's come to trophies, but they still get a huge amount of praise from uh, uh, all parts of football, really, for the way they go about the game. I think they've had a couple of years, Mark, when they've had to absorb the loss of, I would guess, maybe four or five key players. And they haven't quite done that because of the, the youthfulness of their side. Make no mistake about it, in my opinion, they're very close to being back. Here come the supporting cast for him. Luis Suarez. Well, he must have read his mind there to get across and make the interception. It was an important one. And that's the end of the first half. Well, we've come to the halfway point, uh, and it's been very entertaining, the match. And they tell you one would suspect for an even better second half. Yeah, I think that both managers will argue the case that they could easily have been in the lead, and I would have to agree with that. They both played very, very well, these teams. And I don't think the lead is so significant that the other team are out of it. That's a good tackle, but the ball's run loose. It's a terrific opportunity. Great tackle by the forward, and he's in on goal. And they're racing up in support. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Here's some support down the middle for it. Ladies and 
intentions too plain for the opposition. Switch of uh, possession of the football. Here come the cavalry to help him out. Great chance. He can hit it. And a goal for the Gullah. On the scoreboard here, it says 2 1. Well, they're in a good position here, intercepted there. Iniesta's attempted pass is cut out. The pass wasn't a good one, it's been intercepted. They've linked up well. That really is a big shame. Not the best effort, but they really have to try hard now to get this equaliser. Oh, look at the fans, they are right on his back. He's missed that one by a mile, what a howler. Well, here comes the support. possession. This looks a test for the defensive side of this team. Barcelona still maintaining this one goal advantage. And he has a go here. He hasn't dealt with the danger totally. Here we are with just three minutes remaining. Good ball. It's going to be a goal, surely. And he's going for goal. The keeper able to stop that one. That's the final whistle from the referee.